That's right. Uh, no, we did this here, don't we? So I'm going to leave all of that. Good, good. We are in business. We are at the beginning of chapter five. Uh, <coughs> rubber. And uh, we are in verse nine, right? So, Vayomel uh, him Yukvu Hamayim. So God should, um, kuf vav vav is a root meaning to gather together. Um, probably most known from the root mikvah. Um, so, um, you know, a mikvah is a gathering, gathering together of water. Of water. Mm. Hi, come in. Hi, hi, welcome, welcome. Uh, there's one chair there, one Um... And actually, one of the ideas behind mikvah is that the water has a kind of Hello, Hi. Hi. has a kind of wildness about it, which gets tamed in its gathering. So it's 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 more a kind of corralling. There we go. That's actually a better that's actually a better translation to corral. Oh, a corral, corral. You just cabal. made up that. that not corral. Not corral. <laughs> no, no, to corral. Yeah, to to yeah. to corral. Corral. Is, a, is an adjective. A verb. Oh, to corral it. Excuse me. Sorry, to corral the waters. Right. So, so, so I would actually, so, uh, I would actually try to, you know, God corralled the water into one place, um, giving a suggestion of some primordial kind of uh, wildness to the water, which is, which um, is, is exactly right. So, I think how I. That, how would that connect to the mikvah? That's the root. Yeah, yeah. No, so the, the the water, the water that comes into the mikvah mm. is contained. Um, maim chaim, live water or raw water. Right. So you don't. I mean, nowadays we 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 use raw water with a lot of tap water, but mm. but it needs to come straight out of a river or right. straight from the sea or straight Rain from water. rainwater. Mm-hmm. Like that, it needs to be somehow okay. like you, you, you're harnessing that mm. raw power. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I, I asked this question yesterday, which is you know what kind of midrash. Would we expect to see as we move on to a new idea, oh, or at the beginning of a I chapter? Don't think, I don't think Jobby. Good, good, good. Technically referred to as a petichta. Yeah, good, good, good. Right, and, and that whole thing about the verse from afar moving back to the lectionary verse, and that's that's exactly what we've got. So, um, a volunteer, a volunteer to read. Is that you warming up, Milton? <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Yeah, do you have? You got it? Great, good, good. Elohim, Ketiv. Yikvu Hamayim Ketiv, right? So the, the, that, if you want, the, the, that would be in that would be in your inverted commas. Here's the uh, lectionary uh, verse, okay. and God said, and and God said, corral the waters. Ketiv. Ketiv. Min garatecha yinusun mikol gavel. The goma, right? Do you remember what the goma is? Exception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is Psalm 147. Um, At thy rebuke they fled, at the voice of thy thunder they hastened away, right? So um, it's, it's coming from. Uh, one of these psalms that it's liturgical. One hundred and some, one hundred and four is uh, is. Sorry. Hi, Jane. Um, it, it, right, 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 right. Is is the is the blessing for is the psalm for Rosh Chodesh right? um, on Saturday? Of course, Shabbos is Rosh Chodesh Shabbos. Um, you covered yourself with light as with a garment. You layered the beams of his chambers in the waters. We've had this before, right? You know, this, and actually, we're going to have it again. Um, who make the clouds of his chariot walk on the wings of the wind, who laid the foundations of the earth, you covered it with the deep, as with the garments, the waters stood above the mountains, at your rebuke, your re- rebuke they fled, right? So the, 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 in the creation there was originally this sort of water everywhere, and then God rebuked the water, but God was actually laying God's power down against the water. I think that sort of lying around all this is a sense that water is... Um, chaotic, yeah, and therefore slightly suggesting that 
Gnostic sense of the world that you have the good powers of order and the, the, the evil power of chaos. So one of the things that we're going to see here is God is very much in charge of the water. Um, you know, you're scared of the water, you know, certainly in, um, in uh, ancient times. And also, you know, we've got yeah, folded yeah. into our mind, what, what, what's the water shortly going to do in our biblical narrative? Flood, right? So the water's sort of dangerous and scary, but not for God. You know, God tells well, the water what well, to do. Saying before, but he corral the water. Yeah. So it goes back to what we're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. You, you mean I'm, I'm agreeing with myself? Yeah. Baruch Hashem, another what? Another <laughs> right? So, so we're going to see quite a bit of stuff here that this is, you know, water might look a bit scary, might look a bit chaotic, might look a bit like the deep scary thing that, you know, dum, 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 dum. Da, 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 da. Yeah. No, 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 not that song, not that one. The, the, you got you got it, right? Yeah, it, it, Spielberg, right? It, oh, okay. Spiel? <laughs> Spielberg. Um, the water is scary and dangerous and dark things happen in the water. But God's all in charge, right? Just layering, layering that 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 um, that power up quite clearly. Good. Yeah, uh, Milton, back with you. Rabbi Berachir b'shem Rabbi Abba bar Ami Amar yase midai lamayim veheich ma daat Amar. Just two little the final words. V'kan yinate v'kavn yinate al Yerushal. Yerushalayim. Uh, how do you think? Yerushalayim. Yeah, good, 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 good. <laughs> Often written without a yud, um, confusing. But yes. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna have a go at that? Huh? You should be able to get some way in. Uh, well, Rabbi Barakia, in the name of Rabbi Abba, Bar, uh, son of Ami. Good. Amar yaseh mi dai the mayim. So he yaseh asa ayim. Yeah, yeah. He God made. A mida lamayim. I was talking about mida on Shabbos. You are just about to say a measure, a measure or a yeah. A God, 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 set it down yeah, for you know. So we talked about mida mm -hmm. connected mida. You know, like begats mm -hmm. like. You know, you mess me around, I'm messing you. You're good to me, I'm good to you. Mida connected mida. God meded the, the water. God put a structure, a measure, an order on the water. So again, you know, this it's whole... sort of a control as well. Exactly. It's exactly, it's exactly. All of this, I mean, I think this is kind of what's interesting to me about Midrash, going back, Gerald, to this, this ongoing conversation that you and I have, which is, you know, is it genuine or not, right? And I think the genuine thing is that God is controlling... I mean, you know, the whole creation narrative is there to show you that God is in charge and that anything that is a little bit chaotic is ruthlessly dispelled. Right, God said, and it was so, and it was good. God said, and it was so, and it was good. So, and as the Midrash does its stuff, and we're going to see all kinds of, as it were, making stuff up, it retains the same poetic literary sensibility, which is the water might seem to be a bit dangerous, but God, God me does that mime. You know, God, and me is perfect, right? A meter is a measure. So he puts a measure on water. The water is the very thing which, you know, which is difficult to, uh, to contain because it spills everywhere. So we're really getting this truth layered in through the Midrash, which is absolutely true to the original text, even as it is, as it were, made up. They're, they're, they're poetically true, which is, the, in a way, the best way to be truthful. <laughs> well, it's just that in many cases, in a less good Midrash, they know what they're trying to prove and they sometimes take a verse which really is a distortion in order to to justify the point they're trying to make whereas in other cases it it yeah. seems yeah oh that's very pretty right right i mean i, I guess I, I wouldn't use the word good and less good because uh, sometimes i think a really good midrash pulls that off very very well <laughs> tongue in cheek you know mm -hmm. i think you know the, 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 i think that the that what i would say is that that's a sort of a later midrashic form the, the earlier forms of Midrash, when they're trying to, you know, if, one of the ideas about... Um, Sorry, which is earlier, which is later? Well, I think the ones that, 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 that are, they so know where they need to get time. to. Yeah, no, no, no. The ones that they know where they need to get to, and they take you on this most obscure Torture route, thing, yeah. desperately trying to finally, <clears throat> you know, reach that. That seems to be a later point. It seems to me that the earlier point is when they're really kind of penetrating into a truth and opening up the truth more vibrantly for you. But having created the game, having created the rules of doing that, they can now, um, I guess much like a, um, 
you know, like Sage or, or Excel. Mm -hmm. Once you've once you've written the software, you can now put into that any data set and then and then get anything else out. But once you know that, you know, you put the sum, you know, equals sum, open brackets, columns up, columns closed. You know, once you've kind of built the the, 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 the rules for doing that, you can then do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Oh. But the, mm. it arises from a genuine purpose. Only taking, basically, only taking the truth as they see it first and then building the midrash around it. Of course. Rather than the other way around. Right, yes and no, but the question is, where did it come from originally? Yeah. Right? Because I, I mean, one thing that you... I think you can say is that the Genesis 1 creation story is originally a response to yeah. pre-existing Gnostic uh, good versus evil creation narratives. Whoa. Like you can't even see that as you read Genesis 1 because all the good versus evil stuff is just, it's so completely been wiped away. You don't even realize that it's polemic. You only realize it's polemical in two ways. One is you dig up a whole bunch of stuff and there are a whole bunch of other creation narratives, some of which are older, which are, you know, good versus evil battles. And, you know, you can see some of those in places like the British Museum. And then you can sometimes see in places like um, uh, Job, Back End of Job, a couple of places in Isaiah, the, the, the kind of little yeah. things of, you know, I, you know, the Leviathan roared and it's, breath went from fire and the eyes were the size of the like you can feel stuff like that buried in later bits of the Tanakh that looks like the stories the ideas have been kind of carried through thousands of years from before the time that the Chumash was set down and they kind of pop up later on so and this is really late no I don't think it's really late it just it's means that the, the, the no, no, it just it just means that there was stuff that was kicking around before. I don't think Genesis I don't think the Bereshit one narrative is the oldest creation narrative that that people were aware of when it became the canonical creation narrative. I think there were other creation narratives that were kicking around. Um so the, the, so, so really, w w there's a whole question about the, the the thing that you get to study in university is orality, you know, which is you know, how, how were things carried before they wrote them down? Because it's very difficult for us to study um, orality in ancient times because it's not recorded. Um, you know, so, so, you know, like, you know, right, you know, so one of the great orality um, researchers uh, was a guy called Alfred Lord who went into kind of Soviet Croatia, sort of former Yugoslavia areas, um, to places where where they had storytellers in local villages, and the storytellers had never left their village. You know, like it was very kind of discreet, ete, and mm -hmm. um, they would get people to tell their stories. And these guys would go on these six-hour narrative journeys, and he then go to the next place, and 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 they'd ne there'd be no connection, and they would tell the six-hour story exactly the same. And he was sort of utterly amazed. And it was only when he transcribed these huge things that he realised that, that where the differences were and where, you know, and, and how they... There were certain phrases that they would use that would link themselves from one bit of the story to the next bit of the story. You know, and that that's how sort of uh, oral stories become written stories. So there is this whole... So what we're dealing with with Midrash, right, oral Torah, oral, oral Torah. is the is the interweave between an orality that pre-existed the written Torah, yeah. continues through the written Torah, and then continues to develop. So you're also dealing with that very sort of capital M Masorti idea of the development of ideas and, and yeah. how as society changes, you say something new, which is still somehow true to something more ancient, even though it's different. So all those kinds of epistemological categories, all those sorts of uh, um, ways of thinking about what is true and what is not and what is factual and what is um, a kosher development and what is an unkosher development. I think when you understand this kind of nature of Midrash, it, it sophisticates mm. up, it layers up one's understanding of what all those kinds of questions so mean. Are you mm. saying <clears throat> that the writer of Psalms actually had these alternative creation narratives floating around when he wrote it or what seems more logical 
to Gerald and me <laughs> is he was writing poetry and the Midrashic people came around and said, oh, we can use that to prove yeah. our point. Okay, but, very, very clearly the former. Um, and, and, and some evidence for that, some evidence for that is that we know that these psalms are quite late, mm -hmm. right? Let's even assume that they're mm -hmm. Davidic, right? They're probably no, later probably than Davidic. Probably, yeah. First temple, let's say, okay, so let's say they're no, first yeah. temple. We have ancient Near East documents that we've dug up that are 2,000, 3,000 years older than Davidic First Temple, which have phrase by phrase ideas that are now in Psalms. Right, so it could not be, you know, I mean, it's about as clear as it could possibly be that some of these kinds of ways of thinking, let's, let's say Leviathan, because I think that's one of the best, that's one of the most worked through examples, the deep sea monster, that some of those ideas were definitely kicking around in the society in which the Psalms were written, and they have come from that into the Psalms. I mean, you know, my, my favourite example, I'm not sure if I've done this in this, um, in this room before, but, you know, uh, 2008 was the year of the death of Destiny's Child. Does that mean anything? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I've done it here before, right? You know, there was a pop group. It was called yeah. Destiny's <laughs> Child, and they, and they disbanded in 2008. Yeah. You know, so, so like, it's only if you know, you know, like, you know, like, it, when you see a sentence like that, you know, and then you get the idea, and then you realise that there was a pop group, and you realise that you, you now understand the sentence. You know, like, it has to be that. Like, it couldn't, you know, so there's, there's something that happens when you start doing this ancient philology and archaeology that Coo way. James Kugel's book who I just managed to get towards the end of Oh Mazel Tov. Yeah I managed yeah, to start it again that. to find out what he's saying. But he's drawing on the fact that texts exist and they have a meaning when they're written. But people come across them later and when the time to work out the significance is not when they were written, but when somebody decided to in, in, incorporate them in their canon mm. and make them special. How did they understand them then? Uh. You take Song of Songs, for instance, which was put in in an entirely different meaning from the one that seems obvious to us. And what it seems to me just now, thinking about it, is that the Midrash here is, be is beginning to explain to us the thought processes that are going through people's minds when they're taking something that's been written before with one, with one meaning, but they're choosing to interpret it because of their beliefs and faith in a separate way and explain how they get from what would appear to us to be the obvious meaning to something more significant in terms of someone's theology by, by tweaking it and, and understanding but, it. I mean, I would, agree, I would agree with you that that definitely does take place, but I don't think that's no. what's going on here. No. I think here what they're trying to do is to open our eye up to that corralling Right, I mean, you know, what does it say in the King James Bible? Or, you know, and God gathered the water. It sounds nice. But what the rabbis are doing by just lifting up this strong arm nature of God is they're slightly shaping our sense that actually um, Yekavu is a tougher verb. You know, they're actually getting us to something that we might have slightly missed. They're sharpening our poetic sensibility as we hit it. I don't, I mean, I, without question, Midrash does exactly that. But it also does other stuff. And I think this is, a, this is an interesting, this is an interesting version. We'll never be certain what the meaning of the verb was when it was originally devised. I mean, we're, we're, this is why we put onto it whatever gloss we want to. Right. You may be right, but we don't know what sense it was used in when it was originally written. Well, to gather together... What's the Hebrew word for gathering together? Asaf. Asaf is gentle. Well, that's very nice. Another one that we all know. Kibbutz. Uh, Kibbutz. Kibbutz uh, you know. So, so, so you know, you're, you're, you're kind of, but it didn't say, and God asaf the water. It didn't say that God yeah. kibbutz the water. But I associate with giving form to it. But I think the, po the point, they, the point they, is, they is you, you, you tame, uh, it's but it, it involves a taming. Give me give me get a meter. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's, let's do a bit more text because that'd be. Well, I mean, the earliest storytellers. How, we don't know what they, what they, how they meant it, do we? And we talk about the storytellers uh, going back. I mean, far, far beyond uh, Genesis. There must be these tales being told, uh, going back for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Right. And. Uh, yeah. But it's interesting that the, the verse that he's quoting from, from Psalms has nothing to do with the verb Kavav. Oh, hang on. So have we, got, have we got there yet? He's talking about Jerusalem. 
It's Zakharia. Oh, but that's Zakharia. Zakharia. But why Sorry. is he why is he bothering to quote? To quote uh, oh no, no, it does, it does, it does, it does, it does, it does. Uh, yeah, he does. Uh, Psalm 147. Psalm 147. Um, you covered the, the you covered creation with the deep as with the garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, the they being the waters. Yeah, but there's no there's no cuff, cuff in there. Cuff, there's no cuff. Cuff, cuff in there. Right, no right, right, right. Sorry, but it's a re- rebuke. Yeah, sorry. It's a, but it, it, it's it, the it, idea. It, uh, what I'm suggesting. Control, well, what I'm interested. In, what I'm interested is in the strong arm of God. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Which presumably means that you can't get cuff, uh, cuff of anywhere. I mean, they would have used it, right? They would have, but they used it in Zachariah. Yeah, yes, but they can't. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it coming up. We've got it coming in Zachariah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so so Milton, back with you. God ya asem midalamayim. God made a midal for mayim. Hechma de atamar. We've come across this a number of times. Do you do you recognise it? Emotion amar. Yeah, there we right exactly. So so uh, if you look down in the commentary, can you see where I am in the in the sort of middle paragraph, penultimate full line? Hechma de at amar. Translated oh. now into Hebrew, just mm. as Lester did. Bekomoshin amar. Right, so here comes a biblical verse. So what does the kav mean here? The kav is exactly the same kav as in this verse in Zechariah. What's the verse in Zechariah? The kav nate al Yerushalayim. Zechariah 1.16. By the way, let me give you 1.15. I am very cross, displeased with the nations that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they did worse. Therefore, says God, I carved Jerusalem with my mercy, with mercies. Right? I was cross and I carved. Again, you know, carve is laying it down. So, Shafti the Yerushalayim Barach Amin. Yeah, just that. 116. So, was that tough love we're talking about? Tough love, yeah. But it says Shavti Yerushalayim Barach. It was not. It's not uh, anger at all. Oh, sorry, where am I? Uh, look at fifteen, 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 fifteen. Look, go back one verse. Katsaf Gadol Ani. Yeah. Katsaf Alagoyim. Right. Shani Katsin Me'ad Benam. So sixty. Lechem Bar Maraz and I Shavti Yerushalayim Barach Amim. Uh oh gosh, yes. Remember the seven. Okay, sorry. No Umad Zunayt Zvaot Vekav Yinate Al Yerushalayim. It's almost as though it's protecting Jerusalem. It's yeah, yeah. from the evil that's around it. Yeah. That's not how it's being understood by the <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's keep going. Uh, Rabbi Abba Bark Hanana Bashem Rabbi Levi Amar Amar Hakadosh Baruchu Yekavu Li Hamayim. Rabbi Abba, uh, son of Kahana, in the name of Rabbi Levi, said twice. <laughs> Amar, Amar. Uh, yes, he's uh, the, the the blessed one be he who you come sorry no 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 sorry sorry so so this guy oh, said uh, okay oh, sorry. and now this said, is what he said, yeah, said Amar Baruch uh, God said yes who Yekave li hamaim Yekave me I will gather he said I'm I, I will gather together the water yeah Ma shani atid lasot bahem and I will do with it. Yeah. Do in the future. Right. God's going to get rid of the water, right. really. What he's going to do in the future? No. Well, yeah, we'll see. Well, and the marshal doesn't really take it quite. No, there, doesn't take it there. Well, okay. Yeah, it is. We're heading floodwards. We're absolutely heading floodwards, <laughs> but in a slightly strange way. I, have to say, I don't particularly get that. Although the marshal, I, 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 I do. I think the marshal is really, really interesting. But Masha and the Atid Lasot for him surely must mean that I'm going to bring along a flood, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Yes, but but the but it means I'll do with it what I'm going to do with it. I'm I'm preparing to do what I'm going to do with it. Yes, well, we all know what he's going to do with it. Yeah, (laughs) Um, he must have done something else. We know what he did last summer. (laughs) He's the boss. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, yes. 
but the mashal is the mashal takes it's us different. there more more gently. I mean, you know, so here so here we have our first mashal of the uh, of the new paragraph. But just can I just stop there? I mean, if it is this if this is about the lambon. I mean, it's terrifying to think even before Bereshit that there was this predestination of the lambon. I mean, it's kind of well. Like... Let's do let's do the mashal because okay. the mashal will will, will 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 make it more interesting. Mm. Mashal the Mele Shabana Platrin Vahoshiv Betocham Ilmim Vahayu Mishkimim Mishkimin Vashualim Beshlomo Shal Melech Barmiza Vets Baar Vuvna Vavim Post that Uvamalnavim that was the word that I had to look up, so you know, don't don't worry if you didn't get that last word. Right. Um, so, mashallah, Melech, we've had this before. Okay. The, the the king builds a palace. Great. Vehoshiv and sits and lives in it. Well, no, it and uh, and puts into uh, put, it. Puts into it. Elmim uh, hayu. Elam. Does anyone know what elam is? A dumb. Uh, People who can't speak. Oh, mm. I thought, but I thought it would be something. Mute. Yes, it mute. is a mute. mute. Yeah. And it's a kind of it's a halakhic category, mm. and uh, there's, it's a whole. It, it's not. It's not. It's not what an uncommon. What are you doing here suddenly? We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. So he puts these non-speaking people yeah. into his into his palace. Not to be confused with stupid people. Well, or... right, 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 right. So it's, I mean, one of the issues one of the issues in halakha is whether or not people who can't speak are capable of affecting will, right? So we have all these kind of questions around marriage and ketubas and witnesses and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, the, the important thing here is that they can't speak, and that that is somehow lacking, right? Yeah. They, they, are, they are they are they are they are short. They are um, not not of, of full potential because they can't speak. So what do, what do these what do these uh, mutes do? They mashkimim. Skin up. Yep. Specifically, yeah. Abraham. Yeah, Skin good, up. good, good, right? Yeah. They're, 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 they're bright eyed and bushy tails, and they get up early and they shalim b'shlomo shal melech. In honor of the king. Yeah, and they ask yeah. after the shlo- shlomo. They ask. Okay. Yeah. And they, you know, they get up early and they go, how you doing, king? <laughs> but they obviously they can't talk, so they do it b'rumiza. It's uh, with fingers. Uh, Remez is a hint. Remez is, is hints, right? Oh, Remez right. is a, yeah, good. Gestures or something. Yeah, there's. Yeah, they do it with sort of, you know, shrugs of the shoulders and they do it with their Ed's bar. Gestures and with their fingers. Yeah. yeah, and they do it with their handkerchiefs. Yeah. Right? So he's got all these mutes in, 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 in the palace. Quite why he started off with mutes, you know, I don't know. But, but they're all sitting there going, you know, how you doing, king? You know, as best as they can. So what does the Melech do? Uh, Amar HaMelech Ilu Hayu uh, Pekachin Al Achat Kama Vakama uh, Achama uh, My favourite word Achama Hot At, Atmaha Atmaha Good, pause Right, so Amar HaMelech And the king says Ilu Hayu I don't know what Pekachin is If they were smart Right Pekachin uh, 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 could speak. I mean, because I think right. in the Torah, when when Moses says yeah. I'm I'm not good enough uh, to go to uh, Pharaoh, God says, "Mi asa pikeach mi isa ilem." Who who yeah. who do you think made the dumb people and the Perfect. people who could speak? Perfect. Very good, very good. Oh, you're right. you're absolutely on top of that. That's absolutely right. right. Mm-hmm. Pikeachin are. I mean, later in rabbinic, later in rabbinics, it's it's smart students, mm-hmm. right? I mean, you know, but 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 but, but Lester, you're 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 absolutely right. That's that's a really nice spot, Moses. You're worth every penny, Lester. <laughs> <laughs> double, you double. To, you want to rise now, <laughs> right? And of course, and of course, you know the rabbis would have gotten that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know. yeah. Great, good, good, good. Right. So the king says, if they could speak, Allah come of a comma, right? That's that if class. They, if they could have spoken, yeah, yes, ilu, 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 ilu. right. Right, it's right. Like, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. He's gonna. We can see what he's gonna do. Okay. Right. I, I, if I only had speaking people in my palace, I'll have come of a comma. How much the more so? Huh? Right. How much the more so? They're gonna say, "Go, God! You're great, God! Well, God!" Right. And, uh, sorry, the king. So go, king! You're great, king! You're great. So the the, the, the king thinks this is fantastic. Yeah. So what does the king do to all these mutes? Hoshiv Bahamelech 
Diorin Pukuchin uh, Amdu Vehekaziku Pafalatin. Pause there. So he, he kind of he gets rid of all the ill meme, or maybe shoves them into the corner, right? And, and brings in speaking And people. brings in all these speaking people. Right? He said, this is fantastic. This is going to go so well, says God. What do these speaking people do? They undo. Bottom line, third word in. Hoshiba Hamelech. Sorry. Amru Ain Pelot. Amdu. Sorry. Pause, 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 pause. Sorry. One second. Let, let me just do this. Hoshiba Hamelech Dorim Pekichin. He replaces, right? Or he, mm. he kind of brings in Dorim um, people who live, who, who speak. And these speaking people, Amdu, they get up. Chezikub Paltin. And they. They build a wall. Yeah. They build a wall around the. Oh, they strengthen, strengthen this this palace. And they say these speaking people. What do they say? Uh, let's go back to the Hebrew. Amru. Amru ein pliti zo. Shalamela. Two more words. He uh, amar. No. Uh, so shalanu. Shalanu he. They get up. And what's the first thing that these guys do? They do a little bit of work to the palace, right? They put, you know what it reminds me of? Um, uh, uh, the, there's a, uh, I'm not going to be rude about the name. Somebody donated a safer tour to the shore. And, you know, a very beautiful thing to do and a very expensive thing to do. Someone donated the, the schmutter, the mail, yeah. the mail the and they put their name on the mail it's like you know you didn't pay for you know this story and donate and donated in memory of my <laughs> love it wasn't it that's like it's fine you know but you know what like the real the real cover is the person who put the, the Torah, not the person who just buys that you know so they, they turn up these speaking people they put a little bit of bunting around the outside you know they you know they, they put a little uh, reinforce it or something. They, they, they put a little yeah. bit of you know crenellation Ooh. across the uh, across the wall and they go Ain Pal Timzo Shalmelech. Shalanu, right? This is our, this is our palace. What's the king have to say about this? Amar HaMelech, Kach Zor Platin, Kamo Shehe Yita Kach. Shehe Yita. Betkilata. Hayata Kach. Po, 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 no. No, no, Shehe Yita. Sorry, Shehe Yita, yeah. So the king says, Chazar. Take it back to what it yeah, was. Yeah, take it back to where Let me take this palace back to where it was. <laughs> this has not worked. Right? Mashal. Ta, 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 ta. Kach. Introducing the nimshal, right? The the, yeah. the translation of our parable back into the, quotes, reality. Kach mitchalat. Mitchilat. Mitchilat. Brito shal olam. Lo haya... Kluso shall have Kodesh Baruchu. Olev Ole Ele Minhamayim Hada. Pop, 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 Ele Minhamayim, right? So, Metchilat Briato. Techila. Yeah, good. In the beginning of Briato, Shel Olam. By the way, who's Bria? Briato. His Bria. In the beginning of his Bria, good, 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 Shel Olam. Lo hayu kliso, kiluso shel hakodesh baruchu, ole ela min hamayim. In the beginning of God's creation, the praise of the Holy Blessed One came up only from what was there at the beginning? The mayim. Which is mute, yeah, presumably. Which can't speak. Which is mute, doesn't have, well, well, sort of. And, but by the way, what's the proof of this? Here we, uh, 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 Milton, great, thank you. Uh, uh, some, somebody else to read? Mute. Well, we'll also see exactly, all mute. well, we'll see exactly what's going on with the, with the, with the water. It doesn't have a mouth, I guess, is the point. But not as the sun. Right. Not and, as anything. But no, until. Yom Shishi. Right. I mean, you, we can see, we now, right? I mean, you, you know, we now, we know. I mean, what's always so fun about um, uh, a marshal <laughs> is that you start to see where it's going. You know, kind of. It, you know who the wise guys you, are you, going to be. You know, you know who the wise guys are going to be. It's not going to work out well. I mean, you know, as you, as you just, but, but as you get taken through the nimshal, a good taking you through the nimshal will give you added colour. Um, as as it as it swings back round, right? So so, so uh, let, let's 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 work out exactly what these you know. So so by the way, who are, who are the mutes? The mutes are wait, wait, wait. The, water. The, the, water. the water, right, right, right. Yeah, and the the paltin, the 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 um the the palace is 
creation. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Worlds, yeah. 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 Um, so, who are the speaking ones? Us. The ones that speak. Who are they? Humans. <laughs> They're the first humans. <laughs> you couldn't stop them afterwards. <laughs> Well, you can. <laughs> you can. With the water. And with the water, <laughs> right. <laughs> so you, I mean, you get this uh, sort of God kind of pulls the water back into a corner. And then, you know, I mean, just to spoil where we're going here, you know, like this sort of whole generation of whatever, you can't go, oh, forget this. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> and back comes the water. Um, so how do we, uh, just someone to, to take over from how do we do to you? Um, okay. Go for it, Angela. Um, Sorry, fourth line. No, where are we? Uh, oh, the, the, the end of the line is Tehillim Tzadik Gimel. Yeah. Third line down. Okay. Yeah. Mikolot, sorry. Mikolot Mayim Rabin. Anyone recognise? Yeah. Song for Friday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Mikolot Mayim. Kabla Shabbat Mayim Rabin. Coal of the water, the, the voices of the yes. many waters. Oh, the waters of the water, mm. the great waters. Ah, dear, uh, glorified, mishpare yam. Uh, the yeah. God is, is, is glorified from the mishpare, yeah. shibur, yeah. shin bet reish. It's the breaking. Yeah, the right, the breaking waves. waves. We took, I mean, by the way, you know, the idiom breaking waves, I think, yeah, 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 is yeah, drawn yeah, yeah, from... Yeah. Is drawn from this. Um, uh, is drawn from this song. I mean, I you know it would be would be would be my guess, right? Mishpare Yam is a biblical is biblical usage. Um, so that God is praised by the Mishpare Yam by the by the breaking of the water. Il mim maybe Rumi's maybe um maybe this is what they're doing. These il mim they're making noise I and mean, they can't speak, but they're making noise just as the water does. Um, handkerchiefs. This is my favourite. Get what's the handkerchief? The waves. Can you be more specific? The white, the the white, the, yeah. the, the, white, the, 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 the waves, the firm of the waves. <laughs> the edge of the waves and the handkerchief of the is is the is the little is the white is the um firm the white horses. The, yeah. the white yeah. horses. So what is the actual literal translation of that word? It is a handkerchief. Which which word? The handkerchief. Yeah. Yeah. Handkerchief. yeah the handkerchief words literally says the mashal literally says what? handkerchief. What? But when it matches it into the mm. nimshal, what, no, no, it tells you that the nimshal is the water. But actually, there is the, the nimshal doesn't walk you through the remiza, the uh, etzba, and the what was that word? The handkerchief word um, manalovin, uh, the handkerchiefs. But the important thing about the handkerchiefs is that they're white. Yeah, was uh, I'm really excited for this because in the Gadite language, we call Friday zua. Ah. Due to this, and when uh, a real uh, like shabbat. It's Kabbal, uh, Kabbal Shabbat. Shabbat, no Shabbat, or we call here we say Kabbalah Shabbat. We weave white handkerchiefs. Well, that's cute. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's I, I was I was getting more excited. Mm. Right. I mean, I think it's. I mean, I think we'll somewhere exciting. just cover but their eyes. I think that there, there is that. I mean, I, you know, I think that's kind of you know you wave your handkerchief at you know as a way of uh, showing respect to some you know mighty yeah. person. I think that's kind of in quite deep. But I think this is an utterly brilliant midrash that has the confidence to set that up. In the mashal and doesn't tell you that the nimshal is the white horses. Mm. Um, Can I add it, please, if you don't? Because the white, the handkerchief, by all means, has to be white because it's holy. Shabbat, kadosha, kadosha, shabbat. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Lovely. But the reason he said handkerchiefs in the mashal is because he was thinking about the white horses and the nimshal. Yes. So yes. he was working backwards all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the mashal, the mashal, of course, comes back. I think sometimes they work both ways. Yeah, mm. they meet in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Adia. Uma, uh, Uma Adonai. That's the biblical verse, right? So the, yes, the biblical sorry, verse yes. is Mikolot Mayim Rabim Adirem Mashbarayam Adir Bamaram. Ma'im Elu She'en Lahem Lope Velo Amira Velo Dibur Vaharehen Makalat 
Calcin or tea? A calcine. A calcine or tea, sorry. Uh, so these guys that don't have mouth. They let the antler take, I think. Or a hat. Come of a hammer. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. okay. Okay, so he so says the co Kurdish Baruch Hu, if they, if, but if they didn't. If have, these who if, don't have. If these who don't have a mouth uh, and don't say or don't speak and don't speak, um, Kalsin. Stuck on that. Class we had in the we had in the first mm. one, right? That they were they were they were classine is, is praising God. Mm. Oh yes, yes. And they were able to praise Oti, me. Kashe of Ra Adam that Adam Kashe Adam Al Ah. When I create man. Uh, as I yes, created man uh, on Kamabakama uh, uh, Amad. We don't come of a Kamba. Come of a Come is, is, is right, is, is um, Kalvachoma language. Right? Yes. If, tat, 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 alachat come of a Kama. Yes. I mean, it's, I, I love this kind of personification of, of God. Um, you know, and, and, and I get it. You know, you, 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 oh, you know what? I've, I've, I've had one child and they seem slightly, let me have another child and it will be twice as good. You know, like, or, you know, like, or, I mean, it's, it's that kind of logic. And it's, it's, it's kind of, there's a sort of, like, a naivety to it. Mm. There's sort of almost just like a childishness to it. And, 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 and I guess this is maybe like a Dr. Frankenstein kind of uh, conception on it. You know, ha, huh, I'm going to create a monster that will be just like a human. It's going to work brilliantly. You know, or, I'll, I'll do it in my image and then it'll be just like me and it will like me even more. You know, and and this this kind of um, you know right the tragic flaw this is this is God's tragic flaw yeah. of wanting to create something so powerful that it could even destroy the world because it's only when it has that power that is going to be possible for that thing to truly coalesce um, God right to really make its its worth known to God which enriches God makes God feel great but God unleashes this sort of uh, terrible power that makes God either give up or destroy or be defeated by humanity. That's the tragic flaw of God. I mean, the best book on this, you're after a next book, um, Jack Miles got a biography. Um, I think you'd love it. Um, uh, and, and it's a kind of, it's a biography of God. <laughs> you know, in the beginning, God was a little bit punchy, you know, kept on knocking, wiping people out until some people told him to calm down a bit and he did a bit and then he came back again. And eventually he kind of grew up and said, oh, forget this, I'm off and walks away from the whole thing. Esther, you know, so I mean, you know, so that you can you can plot that sort of um, psychology of God, as it were, through through uh, through the Chuma, through the Tanakh. Um, I don't know. Right. So what? So he so he creates he creates humanity, and what do they do? Amad. Am I in the wrong place? No, just just one word. You just 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 put the verb in before. Oh, sorry, it says Amado Hamabul Umarat. So the, the, the generation of the, the, the flood got up and rebelled, mm -hmm. both, sorry, against him. Amado Enosh Umarat Bo. And the, the generation of Enosh uh, stood up and rebelled against him. Right, we talked about this before. It's Do very clear that this is a very naughty generation. Precisely why is not as obvious as it is from Do Hamabul. Yes. And, mm. Do you know who they are? Um, Do well, it's, yeah. separa it's the separation right, right, right. generation. Right, right, They said, right, we don't want to be Palag, and yes. God eventually Palags them, yeah, right? So be, that's the. Uh, um, Pause that. Okay, so. Oh, blessed be he. If not. Something about turning yeah, towards good, him. Yeah, good, good, good. Well, they no, he didn't. No, 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 no. They, they didn't turn towards him. They, they turned, turned away. So they turned, yes, turned away. And and got up and came and 
tan. Can't figure out what your tan is doing here. Mm. Oh, this is, I think this is now the waters, right? Oh, okay. Surely our shoe and that they settled on them. No, and he returned. He returned oh, them as really it was a bit originally. And they came them from the beginning. Um, I have to say I share your slight struggle with the grammar there, mm. but it's quite clear what's happened, right? They, they, he's, yes, he's sort of unleashed. He's, <coughs> he's sort of gone for a Tommy's reset. Not making a lot of sense. Yes, okay, thank you. You know what do you do when your computer isn't working? Hit it. Oh, no, 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 you turn sorry. it off and start it off again. Reboot. That was the one you were looking. Don't hit your studio. I have no respect for my. Oh, it often works. <laughs> it's, it's, quite quite, it's quite remarkable. It's quite remarkable. Because it has no folk memory. <laughs> A computer has no folk memory. That's why it works. Sometimes you have to take the battery out. Even. <laughs> That's extreme case. <laughs> so, um, so, <laughs> <laughs> I, I no longer call technical support because I haven't plugged something in you know like I, I, you know, I just say but that's it but, right but it goes for a reset I mean I have to say it's brilliant so the Kavu here is this sort of sense of, of, of God's pulled it up and pulled it away and like sort of holding it back creating this space for something wonderful to happen and when Gavolt it does and a fumph, just lets it go wham back down it's, it's, it's a kind of a chance right I mean it's it's it, it, it's 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 Good enough, uh, and it, uh, to uh, it's not just made up, right? They're, they're trying to get at something which is they're saying is really there, as it were, right? It's part of the 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 interweave of a text which is somehow true. Where the, 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 the mashal is very nice, but where does it relate to Yikavu? Well, it's just, oh, it's, yes. just, it's just, that's what, that's what the coving is. Um, right, the, the, the God, well, it, yeah, so do you remember, we had that slight problem getting into this. So going right back to, I guess, the sort of fourth line down, when Milton was reading, Rabbi Abba Bar Kahana B'Shem, Rabbi Levi Amar, Amar Kodesh Baruch Hu, Yikvu Li Hamayim, Mashani Atid I'm going to gather him for me. In other words, mm. the God's, God's holding the water back, and it's for God's sake. God wants this to happen. Again, right? You know, I think that that's the kind of sense. But when it when it isn't working, oh, it, let's uh, it go. Uh, just lets it go. Right. By the way, we didn't. Mm. Let's just let's just very let's just finish this. Um. Uh, just you know, we know we know obviously where it's going. Exactly. Right. No, wow. We knew we were going there. I didn't. Ex I actually yeah. didn't expect us to get there so far. <laughs> It's quite a lot. It's quite. It's quite a long mashal. It's quite a long mashal. I think it's a really. I think it's a really lovely mashal. Mm. I think it's great. I do. Yeah. Um, someone else. Someone else to read. We are. We are powering through okay. Genesis verses. And this um, midrash comes out of the start. For what purpose? First, why the waters were gathered together into one place at the first. I mean, it's really, first. it's really thinking about what what is the meaning of this kavu? Like, what what does it mean? And what does it tell us about God? And why did God do it? Um, I mean, it, it, it's really a question into why did you know, like, or, or, or just sort of walking us through the creative process. Mm. By the way, the second, right in the second creation narrative, humanity. Precedes mm. water, yeah. So you know, so here we have uh, we have mm. a creation process where water precedes humanity. Why? You know, God creates it and moves in a bunch of ilmim. You know, tries it with the ilmim. This is going really well. Mm. So you know, moves in the pekim, doesn't work out very well. Releases the ilmim back out. You know, they they run the people back out again, um, and uh, you know, and tries again. Yeah, it's like he's. God is using all of his strength to hold back this water. And when things go wrong, he's saying... Oh. All right, I wouldn't necessarily say that we've, we've, we've reached the edges of God's strength. I don't, think, I don't think that's the idea. But the God does pull the water away. I mean, you know, how powerful is God? But the really? opening um, to this whole section is that God said, let the waters be gathered together. And it's as if this is setting out to explain why did he gather the waters together so that he could release them later. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's saying. Yeah, well, he's, 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 well, I mean, I think the, the <clears throat> Mashal, the, I mean, the, yeah. yeah, I don't quite, I mean, I love the Mashal, 
the intro into the Michelle doesn't quite fit no. the actual Michelle. No. I don't. I mean, I, I'd accept that. I, 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 you know, I haven't looked at my textual um, variants on it, but uh, you know, the, the Michelle is strong enough for me. I'll, 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 I'll take that. It's, it's a prefiguration of the parting of the Red Sea, where God holds back. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. Mm. Right. I mean, See, that I mean, would be you much know, more God satisfying. Is... You know, I'm, 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 I need to have control of things because one day I'm going to have to do something very, very decisive with yeah. this water. I mean, there is there's a very there's a very interesting oh, no, no, midrash. No, no, no. Um, you know, we're still no, no, no. slightly in um, uh, Tishba of zone, um, but uh, there's a there's an extraordinary midrash that when Titus Rufus Harasha, the, the evil Titus Titus, um, goes back to Rome, he gets in the boat and God brings up a big wave to drown him, and Titus goes, "Oh, I know who you are. You're the god of the sea. You did." the flood with the sea and you beat Egypt with the sea both at the beginning the plagues mm -hmm. and then at the end with the with the parting of the Red Sea oh we've got a God of the sea too and God goes oh puts the wave down because God doesn't want to be deemed as being just a sea God and sends a does anyone know this Midrash ah Sends a mosquito up his nose, oh, yes, 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 <laughs> which true. which which devours that's his brain from the inside, <laughs> saying, "I can take you out with the smallest thing." And by the way, what's the first thing that the that the that the magicians can't cope with? Dams for day, kinim, right? Yeah. That small things magicians can't cope with. Um, so you know, we think you know it's a better magic trick when it's big, but in the ancient world, it was a better magic trick when you can when you when you control the small. So, you know, so, um, you know, God isn't interested in being the sea God. Maybe that's, maybe that's why, um, you know, we don't have this midrash. And by the way, does that midrash exist? Could, could well be. Um, do you want to look it up? It, it'll be. Can there. I say this? I remember some time ago, we were talking, we were just having a discussion. I don't say much during discussions, but somebody was, rule Britannia, rule the waves. I said, don't let Israel... Israelis hear this song because we walk through our ancestors. <laughs> yeah, we walk through. We, yeah, but you, you all, Britannia, rule the waves only. Maybe yeah. within Europe, Europe or in England. But let me do. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me do the next one, and then we can. We can at least say we, we did two today. Um, <laughs> El Makom Echad, right? God, God gathered the waters. El Makom Echad, Rabbi Yudan B'Shem Levi, uh, B'Shem Rabbi Levi, the Rabbi Brachia B'Shem Rabbi Yudan. By Rabbi Shimon, a whole bunch of people, Omar. Kol ha'alam kulo, maim b'mayim. The entire world was water and water. Like the water was lying all the way around the entire world. Va'atamer, and you say to me, el makom echad maha. And you say to me, bring the water to one place. And I wonder if this is a kind of physics problem, right? How do you get an entire world's worth of water into one place. Marshal, here we go, Marshal again, parable. La Asen na dot nufu chot menu chot but traklin. You've got ten inflated wineskins hanging out in the palace. I, you know, um, inflated here um, with air. Nitzrecha melech lemokomon, lemokoman. God needed the space. Ma'o selahem, what did he do to these wineskins? Matirin untied the knot, umotsi et ruchan, let out the air, um salkan bazarit echad, and uh, sort of put them away into one corner, one place. Just kach, uh, so too, what's the nimshal? Darach kodesh baruchu al mebere sheets. God, um, uh, so so too was the way of God about the waters of creation. Uslikan biyom okyanos, and 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 gathered it all together into the yom okyanos, the ocean, the oceanic sea. Hadahu um, dichtiv, and so um, uh, so is the verse. The verse from uh, Job. Hem yod so b'mayim v'yishvu b'chole. Um, and also from Job, the derech al um, yam, and um, you know we shouldn't be surprised to hear stuff in Job. I mean, this is slightly earlier in Job than than we're normally directed to. This is actually during the kind of Job's friends' attempts to explain to Job why he's suffering. But um, let me just rewind uh, 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 Job thirteen 
uh, uh, 15. Behold, God withholds the waters and they dry up. He sends them out and they overturn the earth. With God is strength and wisdom, um, and the deceived and the deceiver is his, right? God pours the water in, sends the water out. God's capable of moving all the water. Um, the derek of the analogy of deflating water doesn't quite work. Does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it's like no, it's, it, it, but it's the idea, of getting... right? And, and and actually, this is the the important thing here in verse eight, um, in Job yes. is not Tishamayim Luvado, no, no. right? That God spread out the heavens, God alone. The of Yam, right? So if a Melech Basal Vadam can do it to to air then the Kodesh Baruch Hu can do it to water. It's not really an answer. It is reframe your, reframe the category in which you're holding God. Think about it differently or something. Right, 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 right. Just, you know, stop thinking about God in human terms because if a human person can do it with air, then, you know, then God can do it, you know, whichever, whichever way you want. I mean, I, I, I had um, one of my most successful arguments with um with a uh haredi about uh the nature of um, revelation and he was saying saying to me you know god's so powerful that god is capable of writing letter by letter word by word and i said you know what it's 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 not good you know like i mean how do you get the notion that um lots of a shop means that you need to have separate sets of cutlery and crockery and milk and meat and you know, this wait six hours in the sink and what's it you know, why didn't God just create some way of communication to humanity, the like of which I can't understand, and communicate with me that way? Uh, you know, like, or, you know, I mean, if your highest level of communication is the written form, then of course you think that God revealed in written form. But, but who wrote that rule in the first place? You know, um, there, there was a movie a while ago called Johnny Mnemonic, right? Where, 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 where informa- yeah, there was sort of a brain chip that was sort of shoved into Keanu Reeves' head. You know, like, you know, if God's in charge, then why are we, why are we so bound? Um, I'd come. I'd come. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. This is... Thanks, Bertia. Yes. Mm-hmm. We were talking about false acacia and true acacia. Thanks, Bertia. Acacia tree.